Welcome to the channel. First things first, wrist check my Mr. Jones beam me up watch. Very fun piece. I'll show it to you later. Uh, but right now, drum roll. Drrr, I have a very special piece to show you guys. The Celos 10 year anniversary Helmsman 3. Now, you do know who Celos is, especially if you're looking for this watch. But in the odd, odd case that you don't know, it's probably one of the most uh, successful microbands in the world, hailing from Singapore, and recently they turned 10 years old. Uh, they are normally known for their wild designs, and this is definitely not an exception to it. But let's get right into the quick ones of the specs. We are talking about a 40 millimeter lock to lock watch. It does wear a little smaller, um, probably because the dial is subdued. <laughs> no, it's not subdued at all, but probably because it's dark and it's actually not that much real space for the dial, but more for the yeah, bezel and internal bezel. Nevertheless, 40 millimeter diameter, 46.5 millimeter length, 20 millimeter lock to lock, 11.5 millimeters tall, but I'm pretty sure that it's not including the box sapphire crystal and 200 meters water resistance powered by the old reliable Miyota 9015 and the interesting thing is the case is made of the hardened titanium that Silos uses uh, 1200 on the bigger scale I don't really know exactly how hard that is I don't care it's scratch resistant and I like it a lot so definitely cool to have something that it's not yeah very prone to show uh, wear marks so easily but this is the watch this one was online available for 649 dollars um yeah but that wasn't launch price or anything this was just a special piece as mentioned designed for the anniversary of Celos. Um, the first watch that Silos or Silos ever launched was this one as well, the Helmsman, but in a different version, version 1.044 millimeters diameter, definitely a different thing, a little bit more chunky, not as refined. And what we have now as yeah, a memory is this one. Beautiful, beautiful watch. And the star of the show is obviously that beautiful, beautiful Timascus dial. Now, it's hard to really put it in the camera how flexible and how dynamic this is. But like, for example, here, if I have the lights turned off, this is pretty much black. Just a little bit of light. This is not like the direct source of light. And then it comes to life. And then you put it to like the direct source of light and the camera doesn't pick it up. But... It just goes to another level, totally another level. So that's what we have right now when it comes to this one. Another thing that obviously I want to show you is the loom. So give me a second. Let me charge this up. You all know that Silos has a very good reputation regarding loom. And this watch is no exception whatsoever. C3 Superluminova in indexes, numbers, and the seconds and minutes and hours hand, but a little touch of BGW9 on the inner bezel. You can see that even here, a little bit in the shade, it still picks up the colors quite nice. Now, Timascus is an alloy made of titanium, sort of like Damascus, but with titanium. And then heat treated to get these beautiful colors. You can see some yellow, some oranges. Super happy with this one because on the light, uh, sorry, on the left side I have those light blues, but here on the right I have the purples, a little bit more red. It's just a very, very cool piece. And that's pretty much the thing about this one. Uh, I'm not done yet, <laughs> and we're already like half of the video, but the inner vessel here is also meteorite. So you have titanium, you have meteorite, you have Timascus, you have the hardened coating, you have a beautiful FKM rubber strap with the blue uh, underside plus the blue keepers. It's a very crazy watch. And I'm saying it in the best possible way because I like my watches to be a little crazy or even a lot crazy. And for this one, which is pretty much a statement piece, how could you yeah, wish for anything different? Also, the pop of color of the yellow, the text there, okay, Silos logo applied, Hansman 10 years printed there on the bottom. 
just a very cool thing. The little Easter egg that this one has is that the date, wait, give me a second, I got it wrong. There we go. The date is color matched and the numbers are in white. But when you go to number 10, which is yeah, the anniversary that this piece is yeah, homaging, then bloop, yellow, just to yeah, let you know that you're wearing an anniversary piece. Ah, so, so many cool things about this watch. Like, really, it's just everything. But that's pretty much the issue with it. Like, it's sold out in, some say, less than a minute. Some say that one minute and 16 um, yeah, seconds, something like that. Who really cares? Um, it sold out quite fast as, yeah, everybody, or pretty much everybody was expecting to happen. Um, and there wasn't that much craziness complaining about it, but I'm actually saying that that's because people are used to already, yeah, Silos is selling out super fast, but who knows? Then obviously the scalpers came on the way and a lot of people are, no, not a lot, three, four people are selling these ones on eBay for like 3K. Apparently two of them got sold of 1,700K dollars, not euros. Um, which is crazy. I have no idea how the prices are going to behave. I understand that this is a very special piece. It's it's just amazing that yeah it can command such a margin. But then again, I love it, so I, I can definitely understand it. One thing that a lot of reviewers, or pretty much every reviewer that I've seen with this watch hasn't pointed out, is that the inner ring is high polished. Now, what does that mean? It means that it just adds a lot to that yeah jewelry like like it just sparkles a lot you don't really s saw that on the promotional yeah material but just like the high polish that you have here on the sides plus the high polish on the inside plus the Timascus is truly truly very reflective i wasn't expecting that it's my first time having one of these ones it's just crazy and then yeah this is also reminiscent of the first helmsman that you have here on the cutout with the sand finishing. So sand finishing, a uh, high polish finish, satin finish, uh, the back case engraved with the Helmsman logo, which is, I believe, the same as the Helmsman one, and then putting yeah all the information that you want on it. Just beautiful, beautiful, crazy piece, because it is definitely not a discreet piece. It's definitely not for everybody, but yeah, it is for me. I like my watches to be a little bit out there and can't go wrong with yeah this mix this is how it wears on my small six and a half inches wrist or 16.5 uh centimeters wrist beautiful it's just such a perfect match it just looks so great i'm in love with this watch really really like it totally a keeper and we will see with that said um what are some things that i don't really like about the watch because there are something actually um number one this is the normal Timascus cutout, but I just don't like it. I I would have preferred um, yeah, a framed date, but I don't know how hard it is uh, when it comes to the material. So I don't know, just something that have yeah has been there on my mind. I, I don't care right now. Um, it, I got used to just not doing it, not paying attention to the fact that it doesn't have a frame. But, you know, just pointing it out. Now, the hands, really like the hands. They're really cool. They have leg legibility. I was going to say that, yeah, they seemed a little thin, but no, they actually don't. They are great. So, no, not complain on that one. And then the other thing is that I think that maybe I would have liked a domed sapphire instead of the box sapphire. I don't know. Maybe just me. Who knows? Mm, but yeah, that's basically it. Like, I can't really fault a lot on this watch um, because, I mean... I am actually more a fan of the date window at six, but I understand that this one homaging the original one, keeping it at three would make the most sense. Oh yeah, another nibble that I have, and this is actually something that I've encountered with my Aurora as well. <sighs> These uh, straps are awesome, but they are not so easy to get the perfect fit. Okay, so showing you something else that surprised me about this watch. This watch is super versatile when it comes to straps like i put it in dark leather light leather 
a canvas and it's just great like look at this one just uh yeah a light brown strap just looks great okay so let's go on that one keeping it out and let's say that we go to a canvas one uh yeah by the way if you ever get the chance to jump into one of these ones i would say maybe take it <laughs> who knows when you're going to see i mean at a reasonable price maybe take it because yeah it's just such a great watch look how it matches on the canvas beautiful now look how let's just keep it a little shorter otherwise it's going to take me a little long but look how good it fit, fits on black leather very classy very cool now let's say that you want a little darker leather like this one also cool i like it a little bit lighter for this one but yeah you know it's there and then navy navy is also just a great 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 combination so yeah this is it this is pff, the silos it's kind of like when ferrari just launched the la ferrari which was in my opinion also not the most beautiful ferrari of all time but definitely encompassing what is yeah ferrari's dna so sorry so is this watch so is this watch like this really encompasses silos's dna and i can see it being a cult piece for sure um yeah very enjoyable to have it on wrist anyway guys i hope that you liked it and see you around have a beautiful day